Hi mate. In this box there are 5 laser modules of 5 different engraver. We have the 20 watt from Fox Alien Reiser. The 20 watt of the Order Laser Master 2 Pro, smaller and with a more aggressive design. The flagship module of the Combo Z1, with its generous dimensions. The laser of the 20 watt Sculptfin S6 Pro. And finally the 20 watt Atomstack A5 Pro, characterized by the air guide cone. We put the Fox Alien Reiser to the test. One of the engraver with the most solid and most precise mechanics that can be found on the market. Double thickness aluminum frame. Double motor. Very thick and indestructible plastic parts. Manual Z-axis for focusing. Cable chains to prevent wires from ending up under the laser. This machine has a resolution of 160 steps per millimeter which is double that of all competitors, which means more precise designs and less jaggies. This machine is equipped with a 20 watt laser with compressed focus. The company claims about 5.5 watt of optical power. With this laser we are cutting a 3 cm diameter disc from 5 mm plywood. And it takes about 1 minute and half. We check the power. That is shown to be in line with what is declared by the manufacturer. 20 watt electrical power. 5.5 watt optical power. Now let's move on to the Order brand. My first love. Order stands out because it innovates and invents instead of copying others. With the Laser Master 2 Pro they have produced a series of technological innovations such as an innovative belt tensioner. The possibility of using an offline controller that also adds Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. A fire safety system that activates an alarm if detect any flames and an emergency stop button. Finally we have an optional sled that acts as a z-axis for focusing. I have it and I find it very useful and precise. The laser is also 20 watt with compressed focus and we also expect about 5.5 watt of optical power here. Same test as before, we see here that the material is cut in about 1 minute and a half. We measure the power and we have confirmation that order does not lie. 20 watt of electrical power and approximately 5.5 watt the optical power. Let's now see the Congo Z1. I tell you right away that it is out of the category and should not be compared to the others because it is equipped with a more powerful laser that will kill competitors. The manufacturer declares 48 watt of electrical power and 10 watt of optical power. You see that the laser has already passed the other side after the first round and cuts in half the time, 40 seconds. This is a record. I measure 36 watt of electrical power and 8 watt of optical power. A little less than declared. However in the test of facts it is really very powerful since it takes half the time to cut.
Here is the Sculpt Finesse 6 Pro, of which I had also done a video review, that you find in the description. It is one of the cheapest machines, with an essential, but very solid and functional mechanical and electronic design. Even the supplied laser does not disappoint expectations since it is a 20 watt with compressed focus with the classic 5.5 watt of optical power. Here too we do the cutting test on 5 mm plywood. The machine takes about 1 minute and half to make the cut. We check the power and find it in line with expectations. Finally an old friend of mine. The Atomstack A5 Pro. Atomstack was the first to put a compressed focus diode on the market, anticipating all the others. It is a model from more than a year ago, but in this test we can see that it still lives up to the comparison with the others. Atomstack has recently launched a brand new M50 laser module and a new X7 marker that I haven't had the good fortune to try yet, but at the end of the video I leave you some clips of their launch video. It should be a 10 watt module of optical power capable of cutting thicknesses of 1 cm and more. Returning to the A5 Pro we see that the optical power is a little lower than the others, but in any case the cut was always made in a minute and a half. All 20 watt modules with compressed spot lens gave similar results. Only the Combo Z1 stands out, but it is equipped with a different, more powerful, and more expensive laser. I chose to add this clip to the video because friends have spoken very good about this model to me. I hope I can try it too soon 